Hello, welcome back. In this segment, I will show a concrete attack when CBC MAC is used with a non-zero IV. Remember, in CBC MAC, the correct usage requires IV to be zero. Okay. So to, to get this core idea across, I will show you an example. Uh, suppose, let's say you are given a message and, and the authentication tag T. Okay. Let's call the message to be P, plain text message P, and T is the authentication tag. The goal is to construct another message. Let's say the message name is Q with the same authentication tag T, meaning the MAC is the same, but for a different message. Uh, this should be not possible, right? Yeah, otherwise the MAC itself is, is not trustable. But I will show you that if you use CBC MAC with a non-zero IV, then you can generate, you meaning an attacker can generate another message with the same tag as the tag that you already captured as part of the traffic. Okay, how, how is this going to happen? Um, remember, the how is the first block computed? The first block uh, uh, is computed by taking the XR of uh, IV and the first block of the plain text. If IV is non-zero, then what we can do is a very simple trick, just an XR trick. We can take uh, the new message. Let's say the new message is called Q, right? And we want to construct a new IV. As long as this relationship is true, meaning uh, the first block of the plain text, right? Let's call it P1. XR it with IV, okay, is same as um, is equal to Q first block of the message Q, XR it with new IV. Okay, now uh, attacker knows a few things here, right? One is he knows the IV because it's public and uh, he also knows what was the P1. So his goal is to come up, come up with a new message Q. It will pass the MAC validation, meaning it will also produce the same tag. So how can we do this? So we know this, the attacker knows this, attacker knows this, attacker wants to have this queue, so he needs to generate a new IV. How, do, how can he do that? Very simple, uh, to be more precise. XR of um, Q on both sides. So this Q will cancel out, right? Because XR is associative, and if you cancel out this and this, you get a new IV. So new IV is nothing but all the three components that we already know, P1, IV, and the Q. So if you plug in this, uh, why would the new, the new Mac is same as the old Mac? Okay, you can easily, easily reason about it here. You have the new IV that will be XR with Q. What is new IV? It's nothing but P1 IV Q and Q and Q will cancel out. So you get exactly P1 XR with IV, which is the same thing that was in the previous message. Therefore, the resulting tag is successful. Okay, that's all. So I'll show you a concrete example to get this idea across. Let's take an example. Uh, say uh, Dr. Dharmalingam likes cryptography, okay? And I'm using an online CBC calculator. It doesn't show me CBC Mac, therefore I'm just going to highlight the Mac part. The Mac part is the, the 16 bytes that I have highlighted here. Okay, you can trust me uh, that this is corresponding to the Mac. I already mapped it, okay. Which is not difficult to map if, because you just have to divide it by 16 bytes. The question now is, can I construct another message uh, which will have the same highlighted Mac without even knowing the key, of course. The answer is yes, and I'll show you how. I, it's basically the same trick I mentioned earlier. You have the new message. The new message is Dr. Chandra Kanta. Doesn't matter if you can't read the name, but it's just yet another 16 bytes name, and uh, it's shown in hex here. Okay. Uh, so now the goal is to construct a new IV, right? All we have to do is uh, take the new IV as old IV XOR with old plain text P1 and the new plain text block. Uh, P1. So you get the new IV. This is the new IV. Now you just send the new IV, right? Uh, and they encrypt it using, well, if you send the new IV uh, and the new message that's, for example, here, Dr. Chandra Kanta, and you use the old uh, MAC, the MAC verification will, will succeed because, as I shown to you earlier, because of the XR properties, uh, the the resulting MAC is same as the MAC of the old text. Okay. That shows to you now that, as you can see here, I changed the text and I got exactly the same highlighted text as earlier here, okay? So we are able to construct two different messages with the same MAC, which is not good. This is because our IV is non-zero. That's the reason why we don't want to have a non-zero IV in CBC MAC, okay? To be clear, if you're using CBC, you must have a non-zero IV, but in CBC MAC, you must have a zero IV, okay? That's all.